Should you become a civil engineer in 2022? The purpose of this video is to help you figure that out. We're going to compare civil engineering with some of the other engineering fields. We're going to go over demand, salary, educational requirements, job postings, demographics, and more. Civil engineers are experts in creating and maintaining infrastructure. This includes roads, bridges, dams, airports, tunnels, and wastewater treatment plants. Civil engineers are involved in the planning stage, the design stage, construction, and maintenance. If you do end up becoming a civil engineer, there's a high chance you're going to work for a state government, a local government, or the federal government, either as an employee or as a contractor to a government. Because of this, unlike some of the other engineering fields, it's actually really important to get a professional engineering licensed as a civil engineer to submit a bid proposal, to sign, seal, and submit engineering plans, testify as an expert witness, all this requires a professional engineering license. And many employers are demanding this license for their civil engineers. Within civil engineering, you can actually work in quite a few different subfields. You can become a construction engineer managing construction projects, a geotechnical engineer that focuses on structures and how they're situated on the earth, structural engineers that are experts in dams and bridges, or even a transportation engineer that plans, designs, operates, and maintains roads, highways, streets, airports, mass transit systems, and even harbors. So civil engineering has a lot of subfields and all these have different certifications. Like pretty much all of the engineering fields, civil engineering is pretty male dominated. Usually it's between 80 to 90 to percent, depending on the engineering field. From the current population survey, 83% report that they're male, 11% Hispanic Latino, 80% white, 13% Asian, and 7% African American. So as you can see, civil engineering is male dominated. One thing regarding civil engineers is that they actually report pretty high job satisfaction and high meaning in their jobs. According to the pay scale meaning survey, 71% of surveyed civil engineers report extreme satisfaction or fair satisfaction with their job, and 68% report that their work makes the world a better place. And this brings up our next point that choosing the right career is really important. Many people choose the wrong career. In 2021, a Harris poll found that 47% of older millennials wish they had chosen a different career path. And this is terrible news because the average yearly cost of a public college is now $35,000 per year. This is why we created Choose the Right Career. There's over 1,000 different occupations to choose from, and we created a system for choosing the most compatible ideal career for you. An occupation needs to pay enough, carry your interests, be compatible with your values and personality, and there needs to be demand for it. In this course, we provide a seven-step process so you can identify your ideal career. Check out the link below for more details. Another key advantage to becoming a civil engineer, unlike other engineering fields where you really need a master's degree or in some cases even a PhD, the vast majority of civil engineers just have a bachelor's degree. In fact, according to the Occupational Information Network, 85% of surveyed civil engineers have just have a bachelor's degree, 10% have a master's degree, and 5% have other. But even though the vast majority of civil engineers just have a bachelor's degree, there is that pressure to get that professional engineering license and that requires study that requires you taking tests and the requirements are a little bit different in many different states but definitely not an easy license to get next up we're going to cover the wages of civil engineers in 2021 the average base salary before benefits and overtime for a civil engineer was ninety five thousand four hundred and ninety dollars unfortunately for civil engineers they're the 15th highest paying engineering field they tend to make a little bit more money than agricultural engineers so there's definitely other engineering fields that have a higher base salary. And unfortunately for civil engineers, they actually haven't experienced that much wage growth over the past couple of years. This might be because of local government and state government budgets. The state government definitely doesn't tend to compensate people very well, and civil engineers are pretty dependent on government contracts and then also being employed by the government. But in 2016, the average base salary for a civil engineer was $89,739. This rose to $95,490 in 2021. Unfortunately for civil engineers, between 2020 and 2021, they only saw a $50 average rise to their base salaries. So definitely not the best news for civil engineers. But there are certain parts of the country that tend to pay civil engineers a lot more than others. In fact, according to the government, the highest paying metro area for civil engineers 
in 2021 was San Jose, California, where the average base salary was around $120,000 per year, far above the 95,000 national average. This means that total compensation would probably be around $155,000 per year. Also keep in mind, San Jose, California is not a cheap place to live. Pretty much all of California is insanely expensive. Another high paying place, Anchorage, Alaska, where the average base salary is around 109,000. With 30% benefits, this would bring total compensation to around 141,000 per year. So earning about $95,000 per year with just a bachelor's degree, that's really not that bad. It's just that there's many other engineering fields that tend to pay a little bit more. Next up, we're gonna cover the demand of civil engineers. How hard is it to get a job today as a civil engineer? Is it really, really saturated? Or is there a lot of demand for civil engineers right now? The first thing to understand is the civil engineering workforce is the biggest engineering workforce in the United States. There's around 304,000 employed civil engineers in the United States. Civil engineering is one of the big three engineering fields that have around 300,000. This includes industrial and mechanical engineering. But despite being the biggest engineering field, there's still vastly more software developers, and the software industry is probably going to continue poaching civil engineers. Civil engineering has seen okay job growth over the past couple of years. In 2016, there was around 287,000 employed civil engineers in the workforce. This grew to around 304,000 in 2021. But interestingly, it peaked in 2019, but dropped by about 6,000 in 2021. But if we compare 2016 to 2021, there's been a gain of about 17,000 jobs since 2016. This is definitely not bad for an engineering field. Some engineering fields, such as nuclear engineering, such as chemical engineering, have actually seen their numbers drop over the past couple of years. So civil engineering is unique in that they have seen job growth over the past six years. But when you compare it to something like software development, I mean, it looks very, very small. Another thing we can look at to gauge demand for civil engineers is we can look at the number of job postings across the United States. I went on Glassdoor and I found 16,118 civil engineering job postings in the United States. On Indeed, 34,448 job postings. And on LinkedIn, 9,652. So when you compare the number of job postings on these different job boards and you compare it to the number of employed civil engineers in the United States, about 304,000, it does look a little saturated. And you actually go on LinkedIn and you can see that for a lot of the entry level positions, there's a lot of applicants. It does look pretty competitive to become a civil engineer, at least right now in 2022. Next, we get to the personalities of civil engineers. According to the Myers-Briggs company, there are certain personality types that are attracted to certain occupations. So they actually found that the most common Myers-Briggs type for civil engineers is the ISTJ, the inspector, followed by the ESTJ, the director, and number three is the ISTP, the crafter. So those three are the most commonly found Myers-Briggs types found within the civil engineering occupation. We can also look at the Myers-Briggs types that are most likely to become a civil engineer. This is because there are certain types. There's, For example, the uh, ISTJ is one of the most commonly found Myers-Briggs types in the United States, whereas like the INFJ is extremely rare. So this is just kind of showing if you're one of these types, you have a much greater chance of becoming a civil engineer. Number one is the ENTJ, followed by the INTJ, and number three is the ISTJ once again. So I hope this video helped you figure out whether civil engineering is for you. This is definitely a pretty cool occupation. You get to work on a lot of public works and public infra infrastructure projects such as roads, bridges, dams, and more. If you enjoyed this kind of content, I have videos on pretty much all the other engineering fields. So feel free to check them out. Are you a civil engineer? Do you enjoy this occupation or do you dislike this occupation? Tell us why in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.